giving you an hourly update on our weather alert day here in greater Cincinnati. We are anticipating two rounds of thunderstorms. The first one just lined off to, up, off off to our west and rolling in around the lunch hour. The second one into the evening, potentially bringing some stronger storms to the area. Right now on the WLWT live radar, not a whole lot of action, though we have seen a couple of isolated showers pop up over the last half hour or so. A light shower just popped up between Loveland and Goshen. Kind of riding up 48 there and a couple of sprinkles uh, areas to the east and along Route 50. But here's the line of thunderstorms I was talking about for that noon arrival. This is actually the line of storms that spurred tornadoes in Oklahoma overnight and in through areas like St. Louis this morning really rapidly decreasing in intensity as it makes its way toward greater Cincinnati. But you can see it still has some heavy downpours with it. The potential for some gusty winds, maybe up to about 40 or 45 miles an hour and the potential for some small hail. So I want to take a look at where these storms are right now. They're basically right along 65 there south of Indianapolis and they're moving to the east and northeast at about 40 miles an hour. So over the next hour or so arrival time here for our Westernmost communities in through Ripley County, probably about 1130. So you got a half hour or so if you are in southeastern Indiana until those thunderstorms are at your doorstep. As for areas closer to the 275 loop in downtown Cincinnati, you can see with the track of these storms that would bring the heavier rain, the lightning, the potential for some gusty winds right there in the noon hour, kind of coming up on one o'clock uh, in through downtown Cincinnati. And again, this initial line is not the one that has triggered the enhanced risk. This is actually for the storm that will redevelop later into the afternoon and evening. So we'll see round number one come through with showers and thunderstorms at lunchtime and then a break with additional redevelopment into the evening. And those are the ones that bring the potential for all forms of severe weather. Large hail is the number one threat, but we do have the potential for significant strong tornadoes in our area, strong and damaging winds as well. And with any of these thunderstorms, you have the potential for some intense downpours that could cause some areas of high water. So it is a weather alert day. Let's break down the timeline for you. Round number one, basically rolling in in the next half hour or so in southeastern Indiana. So now through 2 p.m. is that initial line of weakening thunderstorms, but you're still going to get some gusty winds, some lightning, some downpours, then a break. After 4 o'clock, that rain chance goes back up again. You'll start to see some clusters of storms developing 4, 5, 6 o'clock, and really 6 to 10 p.m. is probably our biggest threat for strong to severe storms. Expect the possibility of large hail, wind damage, and the possibility of tornadoes into the evening. To give you a quick look at the future cast, it does show that initial line moving through by about 2 o'clock or so, and then a mid-afternoon break or early afternoon break before additional storm development starting around the 4 o'clock hour and continuing into the evening. So this is likely to impact your family's plans for the evening. If you have a game to go to, uh, some errands to run, we do have a way to get your weather warnings because we will be giving you updates through the afternoon and evening as these strong storms rumble through. The good news is they clear out before midnight, so you will be able to sleep soundly tonight. So right now over top of downtown Cincinnati, starting to see the sun try to peek out a little bit. We do have gray skies and we're still about a half hour away from that rain impacting our area. So coming up today at noon, we will have the latest for you on today's severe weather threat and hourly updates through the afternoon. You can always get the latest on the WLWT.com and on the WWT app. Right now, I'll send you back to our show.